Can finding the coded message behind another legendary monster reveal why the ancient Greeks created the Minotaur myth? While this mutant bull terrorized people on land, another bloodthirsty beast hunted the seas. Mermaids. At first glance, they're beautiful women with fishtails. But beware, they are ambush predators, out to slaughter passing sailors. Using their seductive looks and angelic voices as a trap, they lure men towards the shore. And a deadly hunt begins. Beneath their pretty faces, mermaids are ravenous, man-eating monsters, dragging sailors to their death and feasting on their flesh. The original versions are nothing like Splash or like the Disney version. They tended to be a bit more sinister than that. Nothing like the sort of cutesy version that most people think of. Comparative anatomist Dr. Joy Reidenberg thinks minotaurs and mermaids have a lot in common. She believes both were inspired by real animals. The mermaid's origins may be a familiar marine creature, the seal. We're looking at a harbor seal, but it looks very similar to the Mediterranean monk seals, which are common around ancient Greece. But why would seals have been mistaken for half-human, half-fish creatures? It actually has eyes that are facing forward. So this animal's eyes are looking at you the way a human would, because humans have binocular vision with two eyes facing forward. Very few animals have that. Then we go down this fish-like body, and notice that these two feet can spread out and look just like a fish's tail with the webbing in between. The distinctive way the seal swims is also a clue to how it could have been mistaken for a mermaid. They actually push their feet back and forth like this, so they'd open one, scoop the water, close it, then open the other and scoop the water in the other direction. So at any one moment in time, you would see one of these completely expanded, looking just like a fish's tail. It's not just the seal's physiology that ties it to the mermaid myth. Its behavior fits, too. These seals like to live on rocky coastlines. They like to climb up on the rocks, get a nice look around, and that's the kind of coastline that you have off of ancient Greece. Mother seals make a cry that sounds a little bit like a singing human voice. So you imagine one of these seals sitting on the rocks, crying to its baby or calling to its baby. It would sound like it was a woman who was singing. So there comes the mermaid myth, these sirens calling the sailors in to their death on the rocks as these ships would crash. Like bulls, seals are not normally a threat to humans. So why do the ancient Greeks create the minotaur and mermaids as man-eaters? Could this be the key to the encoded message? Maritime archaeologist Dr. Derek Irwin believes the answer could lie in the dangerous coastline of Crete. The Aegean Sea is actually littered with shipwrecks. We think that there are thousands of shipwrecks lying in the seabeds around Greece. Derek believes the flesh-eating fame of mermaids is a coded message about the many deaths that occurred in these waters. We found several shipwrecks here around the island of Dias, the, the southern, the east, and the west coast of, of the island. Hidden underwater volcanoes have created deadly ship-shredding geology covering the seabed and shoreline with sharp rocks. So along here, mostly we have drop-offs. Yeah. From the surface, we go to deep water to 40 or 50 meters straight down. But then we have some rocks protruding out here. A combination of uh, bad weather, rough seas, and all sorts of rocks on the surface, under the surface, uh, near the coast, could have been catastrophic for any ancient sailing ship. Derek thinks the mermaid's hunger for human flesh was created as a stark warning. Mermaid tales were all about danger and deception. Stories of mermaids were definitely like a coded message to ancient sailors not to go too close to the rocks. 
Greece has over a thousand islands and more than 13,000 kilometers of shoreline. For the ancient Greeks, sailing through this rocky maze wasn't easy. Their boats were small and made of wood, and the sailors had no compass. So at night, they used the stars to navigate. And by day, they had to hug the jagged coastline. The mermaid myth reminded them to stay alert. It was this life-saving warning that meant the tales of mermaids endured for millennia. Our human brain is wired to, to pay attention to storytelling, to things that we can relate to. If we make them meaningful, we're going to store them and remember them better. So if mermaids were created for a purpose, what message lies behind the Minotaur myth? What were the ancient Greeks warning of? Could the sudden downfall of their enemy, the fierce Minoans, be the key?